Uh, hello, peoples. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Sky Factory on, well, my single player Sky Factory world. Episode whatever number this is. So, last time I logged off directly in front of this cactus, and apparently, when I logged on, I was still getting picked by the cactus, but thankfully, I backed off just before I met a prickly end. Let's heal up. Also, I might sound different because the right speaker in my headset gave out and I really didn't want to continue using it that way so I went out and bought a new one that's why I might sound a bit different also I'm gonna see how this changes things in editing and try and fix it myself and you know in the next video or two maybe I'll speak differently or change the settings to get it the way I want so today I just logged on to the world I didn't do anything at all because I wanted a genuine first uh, first look experience at the aftermath of my drunken shenanigans. I don't think there were as many as there were on Terraria, but I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure... Well, not pretty sure. Uh, the only thing I can think of is over here. I used the rest of my chance cubes. There were two of them. One gave me florbs. One gave me a purifying fluid. I think that's really important for something. One it gave molten steel. That's cool. Oh, molten fairy! I think I wanted this at some point. It's really good for something. Oh, I've got aluminum brass. That's a good one. And yeah, I stepped on the purifying fluid source block and destroyed it. And I put up this sign: "Rest in peace, purifying purifuelin fluid. You died after." You life, Evie, for a short time. You were great. Wow, <laughs> that's the first thing I remember. Well, I don't have any chance cubes today. I could craft a new one, but then, uh, you know, if I start doing it again and again in subsequent episodes, I'm gonna c start going through lapis pretty quick. Let me see. Well, whatever. Watching me be drunk was enough of a treat, <laughs> I guess. So let's get underway. Simplest thing I can do today is work on the corner portal platform for the obsidian, for the nether portal. What would look cool there? I'm thinking, oh, I actually did think of something. I need chisel because I want to chisel some obsidian blocks. I think that'd be super cool. Let's see, 92, that's plenty. Okay, and you know what? I'll bring a saw with me. Let's see. Because you can uh, micro block a, a chiseled block. Cool, huh? It's like the mods work together. I said that in one of my previous episodes. Uh, let's see, it's got 16 durability left. I'll bring the second one with me just in case. Now, I think there are some pretty cool chiseled block patterns, variations of obsidian that you can get. Yeah, this is. This needs to be filled. There we go. Feel that. That's there. We go. Okay. Now you. Uh, sure. Let's bring the whole stack. The game is still loading a little bit. It should be okay. One of the things I had to adjust with these new head with this new headset is the sound coming from the speakers. Man, it was set to be really loud. But I've got that set to just how I want it. Now we are here at the portal. The portal will be taken down, but be put back up, maybe like right here in front of me. But for now, I need to craft a good looking block that you guys should be quiet. A good looking block that I like and that I'm going to use consistently. Let's get the chisel. Let's right click to open the interface and place some obsidian blocks over here to see what we can get. Oh, it's all dark, but. Well, I guess it's okay. I was thinking I wanted something bright. Hmm, I have another idea. Oh, actually, you know what? This probably works out. Let's see, there's colored obsidian purple. I think this blue one would look alright. Yeah, sure. Now, do I want 64? Sure, why not? Yeah, that's good. And I also want to cut it into bits. Itty bitty bits. Slabs? Yes. I don't know how many I'll need. Well, maybe I do. Oh, 
There it is. The saw has been expired. Now, I logged on. I got this warp ward buff. I don't know what that is. I've got that little counter just under my minimap. It's counting down, which is, I guess, warp ward. Maybe I got it from stepping into purifying fluid last episode? I have no idea what it is. But nothing harmful has happened, so I guess I'm good. Now, how did you even get there? Really? Crazy chickens. Okay. Now I have slabs. I have these slabs. They go here. Uh, first, yikes, I should not have backed away like that. Firstly, I destroy that. And let's see. Put some blocks here. One, two, three. And then the next one will go here. Then I can remove these three and place three slabs. Hang on. One, yeah. Two. One, two. Okay, sorry, I had to think for a moment there because it, the bridge is three wide and then one lower block and one lower block. Now, do, do, I, do I still have that slab? I don't. That's okay, I can make more. Or I can just walk over to the chest with slabs in them, but this is closer and easier. There's that. Now I just have to do this to... And I can't... Uh, what is it? Builder's Wand this. Builder's Wand? Diamond Wand? Builder's Rod? It's not exactly the same Builder's Wand thing I'm thinking about, but, mm, you know, it's the same item, pretty much. There's that. And then we just have to build the actual platform. Ah, uh, that wood is going to have to go. It, how did you get out? Is there an open gate? No. Pretty sure I didn't leave the gate open while I was drunk. I had a bad day that day, obviously. <laughs> Oh, by the way, disclaimer, never ever drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Well, wait a minute. Oh, that was a cow, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Where, there it is. If it's a regular cow, which it is, I can kill him. Because they are renewable resource. Sorry to talk about it that way, any cow lovers, but that's just how it is. Okay. That there. This will be the corner of the next 5x5. Five three, four, and five. This is the center block. Yes. That's where the portal will sit. I believe I can make portals any size in this version of Minecraft. This is Minecraft 1.7.1. So, probably. Um, that means I'll have to remove some of the floor to make room for the floor of the portal. Okay, just do this. Whoops, well, do this, say whoops, and then do that, and then undo the first this. Jeez. Man, that sure takes a while to mine. Well, it, well, it is obsidian. And I'm going to need a lot more of these slabs, let's see. Sure, I could c chop it up into even thinner pieces, but it, that's the kind of thing that would annoy me. Uh, that is not a saw. Okay, let's grab maybe like 32 more. Okay. Now I'll get back to block placing. You know, I'll probably do the borders and fences afterwards, but for now I just want to get the main platform settled. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And let's see. Uh, this has to go. It really does. Okay, that, 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 that. It's almost like a song. Da, 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 uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove the portal. Uh, let's see, I'll remove this. It's kind of awkward with this portal in the way. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five. This is block and then here is I think yeah okay that's out one and then I guess here I'll have solid block yeah cool I'm a cool dude put this here 
then this goes here looking good hey I got pretty much the shape down so I just have to transplant the portal to here I'm not sure which way I want to have it facing like outwards or towards rubber trees don't think it matters well better get to it I think I can make it work come on make it work if it's three blocks wide so three blocks wide I'll have the upwards pillar over there and there let's see I gotta make this wider because I want to have a space to walk around it on that side uh, is this too wide you know what uh, I have to do something real quick here let me see that and that there this wood block marks the center of the 5x5 five five area I think that'll help me a bit with something, maybe. Five, let's see, one, two, oh, wait a minute, two, okay, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to shape out the whole thing, okay. Oh yeah, I can ore excavator all this, great. So there's that, I can fill this in with blue obsidian, that's cool. Yeah, the blue obsidian does look nice, I like it. And I need flint and steel once again to light it up because it won't work otherwise and I also need some extra obsidian yeah you know I'm wondering if colored ch colored chiseled obsidian would also be valid hey, what is this doing here <laughs> I completely forgot about that that's funny uh, okay uh, obsidian in case the colored obsidian does not work I'll just grab some extras from over here uh, half stack is more than enough. There it is. Let me just run over here, pick up our flint and steel. Oh yeah, I removed this chest. I moved all the stuff, I think, into here. Yep. And I think that's it. There. All I have to do is set it up. Let's put, uh, wood blocks there in the seventh slot. Because I know I'll have to climb up high to put the taller parts of it down. And running back and forth like this is going to help me remember where exactly it is in my Sky Factory world. So, in the bottom left corner of the Pam's Harvest Craft mm. trees. Okay. So, obsidian, obsidian, remove that. Obsidian, and then I'll have three blocks wide. And this is where I need the wood. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and one, two, three. I think I can have bigger portals in this version. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oh, I blame you, jerk. Well, let's remove that fire. Try again. Ta-da! Three by three portal. Now, let's go in to make sure it works. Which it probably does. Which it probably does. I wasn't, I wasn't close enough there. And the nether should still be the same as it always was. Big open nothing with weird nether clouds and vines hanging from seemingly nothing. Maybe I can reach out and touch one. Ugh. Ugh. That one is pretty close. I wonder what it is. You know what? Uh, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should. Okay, I'm gonna... What is Minecraft without a little exploring and adventure and craziness? So I was thinking I shouldn't do this because it's creating spaces for mobs to spawn like pigmen and it could be trouble like pushing me off the edge and being well overall disruptive. I want to get close enough so that the what am I looking at mod tells me what am I looking at what I am looking at. Okay jump up here. Thorn vines currently harvestable uh, I want to catch one take it home with me make a home for it and, and raise it as my own no not really uh, I think <laughs> I need shears that's okay this mod pack has something like stone shears that's okay so I can peel her up a little more and actually grab some of this stuff effective tool axe okay uh, Oh, that's what it means by effective tool. It means it, it's the one that's supposed to quickly remove it. So if I 
she resists. I don't get it. Oh, can you even get this stuff? I think it hurts me. It's called Thorns Mines, after all. Yep. Well, that's Thorn Vines for you. Uh, I don't need to hang around here any longer. I'll just remove all of this. Okay, goodbye. No more mobs will spawn. And, well, that's the episode. That's the Obsidian Platform for my Nether Portal. Anyways, if you like this episode, if you like Nether Portals and pretty cool-looking blue obsidian, leave a like. And if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well or check out the playlists on my channel. Okay, next time, I might pick out a bunch of plants to plant in the large set of rows of farmland I have here. Yes, I have a whole list of things to choose from. Okay, till then, be swell, stay well, and farewell.